Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Sayyid Ali Mardan Azmi. Welcome to my channel. In this lecture, we will learn how we can evaluate the line integral of vector fields. And for this purpose, we will learn question number seven of exercise 16.2 from Thomas Calculus 12th edition book. Now, first of all, why we have to learn something about line integral? If we have to calculate the mass of a y lying along a curve in a space, or if we have to find out work done by a variable force along any curve, then we have to use line integral. Now, this is the basic definition of the line integral. Let it be a vector field with continuous components defined along a smooth curve C, parameterized by R of T for the limits A to B, then the line integral of F along C is integral over the curve C is equal to F dot dr over ds into ds, which is equal to integral over the curve C F dot dr. Here, dr is the smooth parameterization of the given curve C for the surface S. Now, how we can evaluate it after the definition? In order to calculate the line integral of F, where F is the force represented by the mathematical equation, F is equal to mi plus nj plus pk along the curve, smooth parameterization curve, r of t is equal to g of t i plus h of t j plus k of t k. What we will do, number one, we will express the vector field F in terms of parameters t, means we will calculate F of r of t. By substituting the values of component x is equal to g of t, y is equal to h of t, and z is equal to k of t from the value of r of t. And then in the second step, we will calculate the derivative dr over dt. After calculating the derivative, we will calculate the product of f with dr over dt. And then we will integ integrate the re resulting product of f of r of t dot dr over dt for the given limits a to b. So before moving further, we must know what is the parametric equation of straight line segment in three dimension plane, or sorry, in three dimension space. These are the equations. X is equal to x1 plus t of x2 minus x1, plus y is equal to y1 plus t into y2 minus y1, plus z is equal to z1 plus t of plus t into z2 minus z1, where t is lying between zero and one, here x1, y1, z1 is your starting point and x2, y2, z2 is your ending point for the given straight line segment. With the help of this formula, you can, you can parameterize any given straight line path. Now, this is the statement of the problem for question number seven to 12. In exercise 16.2 of Thomas Calculus 12th edition, we have to calculate the line integral for these three paths. And these paths are represented by these diagrams. First path is C1, whose parametric equation or parameterization is R of t is equal to Ti plus Tj plus Tk, where t is lying between zero and one. And this path is represented by here with yellow color. Our second curve path is C2, which is represented here with blue color. And our third path is a combination of two straight lines C3 and C4. And we have to calculate line integral for the given vector fields for each path. So first of all, what is the statement of question number seven? Is question number seven, force function is given to us, f is equal to three y i plus two x j plus four z k. In order to calculate the line integral of this vector field along the path C1, we will divide our procedure into four steps. In step number one, since R of t is given to us, we will calculate its derivative with respect to t. So derivative of R with respect to t is ti plus tj plus tk will give you the derivative as i plus j plus k because the derivative of t with respect to t is one. I remain as it is, plus derivative of t with respect to t is one. J remain as it is, plus derivative of t with respect to t is k is one, and k remain as it is. So after calculating the derivative, we can move on step number two. In step number two, 
we will calculate the value of x, y, and z from R of t. Please note that in R of t, the component, the coefficient of i will give you the value of x. The coefficient of j will give you the value of y. And the coefficient of k will give you the value of z. So after calculating these values from R of t, we have x is equal to t, y is equal to t, and z is equal to t. Now in the next step, we will substitute these values in this vector field function f. So we can calculate f of r of t. So when we replace x with t, y with t, and z with t, so we have from here, f of r of t is equal to 3ti plus 2tj plus 4tk. Here we have replaced x, y, and z with t. In the next step, in step number three, we will calculate the product of f of r of t with derivative of r with respect to t. For this purpose, we will calculate the dot products of vector quantities. As we will take the dot product of f of r of t with dr over dt. And for this dot product, we will multiply the i components with each other. I, You know that i into i is equal to 1, j equal to j is equal to 1, and k into k is equal to 1 in the dot product. So when we multiply the coefficient of i, j, and k, we have 3t into 1 plus 2t into 1 plus 4t into 1. Then in the next step, we will simplify the function. So we have 9 of t, 3 plus 2 plus 4 is equal to 9 plus 9t. In the next step, we will calculate line integral with the help of this formula. Line integral is limit from a to b f of r of t dot dr over dt into dt. The value of f of r of t dot dr over dt is 90. So the value of line integral is limit from 0 to 1, 90 dt. The limits are given in the question for path c1 as 0 to 1. In the next step, we will integrate it 9 remain as it is. Integration of t is t square over 2. In the next step, we will apply the limits, upper limit minus lower limit. And after simplification, we have our answer as 9 over 2 for the path C1. Now, in the next step, we will calculate the line integral along the curve path C2. Procedure is similar. In the step number one, we will calculate the derivative of R of t with respect to t. So derivative of r of t with respect to t is derivative of t with respect to t is 1. So I have i here. Derivative of t square is 2t. So I have plus 2tj in the second term plus derivative of t raised to power 4 is 4t cube. So I have 4t cube into k. So dr over dt is i plus 2j plus 2tj plus 4t cube k. After completing step number one, we can move on step number two. In step number two, we will calculate the value of x, y, and z from the R of t. The coefficient of i will give you the value of x. The coefficient of j gives you the value of y. And coefficient of k will give you the value of z. After calculating these values of x, y, and z, we will substitute these values in the function so that we can calculate f of R of t. So value of y is t square, so I have 3t square i. The value of x is t, so I have in the second term 2tj. The value of z is t raised to power 4. So in the third term, I have 4t raised to power 4k. So after converting f in the form of f of r of t, in the third step, we will calculate the dot product of f of r of t and dr over dt. In dot product, we will multiply the coefficients of i plus coefficients of j plus coefficients of k. We will multiply the coefficients. So I have 3t squared into 1 plus 2t into 2t plus 4t raised to power 4 into 4t cube. Making the simplification, 3t squared, I have 3t squared from the first term. 2 into 2, 2 4 t into t, t squared, plus 4t from the second term, 4 into 4, 16, 
t raised to power 4 into t raised to power 3 is t raised to power 7. We will add up the powers. Making further simplification, I have 7t squared plus 16t raised to power 7. Step number 3 is completed here. In next step, we will calculate the line integral with the help of this formula. For the second part, the values of a and b are 0 to 1. So we will integrate it. For the integration, I have 7t cube over 3 plus 16 into t raised to power 8 over 8 with the help of power formula for the limit 0 to 1. In the next step, applying limits, making a simplification and then applying the limits, I have my answer as 13 over 3. So here we have completed the B part. Now for the C part, our path is C3 union C4. What it means, we will calculate the line integral along the path C3, and then we will calculate line integral along the path C4, and in the end, we will add up the results. So in order to calculate the line integral along the path C3, please note that we don't have value of R of T for C3 and C4. So in order to calculate the, val the value of R of T for C3, we will use the formula I have stated earlier, the parametric form of the straight line, x is equal to x1 plus t of x2 minus x1, y is equal to y1 plus t into y2 minus y1, z is equal to z1 plus t into z2 minus z1. Here, we will apply this formula for the limit 0 to 1. Please note that here, for the path c, our starting point is 0, 0, 0. So the value of x1, y1, z1 is 0, 0, 0. And our ending point is 1, 1, 0. So the value of x2, y2, and z2 is 1, 1, 0. So after substituting the values and making the simplification, I have the value of x as t, the value of y as t, and the value of z as t. So in the next step, we will make these value of x, y, and z as the coefficients of i, g, and k in R of t. So the value of R of t is t i plus t j plus 0 k. In order to complete step number one, we will calculate this derivative. The derivative of t with respect to t is 1. So I have in the first term 1i plus derivative of t in the second term is 1 with respect to t. So I in the second term I have plus 1j. And the derivative of 0 with respect to t is 0. So in the third term I have 0k. So after calculating dr over dt, we can move on the second step. The second step is we will calculate the value of f in the form of t r of t. So here, the value of x is t, the value of y is t, and the value of z is 0. So substituting the values in the formula of f, we have f of r of t is equal to 3t i plus 2t j plus 0k. In step number 3, we will calculate the dot product of f of r of t with dr over dt. Calculating the dot product, I have 3t into 1 plus 2t into 1 plus 0 into 0. So answer is 5t. In the next step, we will integrate it for the limits 0 to 1. I have 5t dt, the value of f of r of t dot dr over dt here. In the next step, making this, applying the integration, I have f into t square over 2 for the limits 0 to 1 with the help of our formula. After this, Applying the limits with the help of fundamental theorem of calculus, upper limit minus lower limit, I have 5 by 2 as my answer for the path C3. In the next step, we will calculate the line integral along the path C4. Please note that for C4, the value of x1, y1, and z1 is 110, and the value of x2, y2, and z2 is 111. Because again, for C4, we don't have the value of R of t. So in the first step, we will calculate the value of x, y, and z with the help of this formula. So I have the parameterization as the value of x1, y1, z1 is 110. The value of x2, y2, and z2 is 111. The value of x1, y1, z1 is 110. So my answers are x is equal to 1, y is equal to 1, z is equal to t. So when we substitute these values as coefficient of i, g, and k, I have the value of r of t as 1i plus 1j plus tk 
and the next step i will calculate its derivative the value of the derivative of one is zero so i have in the derivative zero i plus derivative of one is zero so i have zero j plus derivative of t is one so i have one k so the derivative of r of t with respect to t is zero i plus zero j plus one k in the next step step number two we will calculate the value of f for t so we will calculate f of r of t by substituting the value of x y and z here the value of y is one so i have in the first term t into one i plus the value of x is one so i have two into one into j plus the value of z is t so i have 4t k so the value of f of r of t is 3i plus 2j plus 4t k so step number two is completed here in step number three we will calculate the derivative of f of r of t with dr over dt so calculating the dot product i have 3 into 0 plus 2 into 0 plus 40 into 1 so my answer is 40 in the next step we will integrate it for the limit 0 to 1 by substituting the value in the formula of this line integral so the process of integration is 4 into t square over 2 for the limit 0 to 1 we can cancel out this 4 with 2 so i have 2 t square for the limit 0 to 1 in the next step applying the limits upper limit minus lower limit i have 2 into 1 square minus 0 answer is 2 so here we have calculated the line integral for the path c4 in order to calculate line integral for the path c3 union c4 we will add up the line integral for the path c3 and c4 so our answer is 9 over 2 thank you so much for watching this video Please subscribe to my channel and recommend this channel to your fellows. Allah Hafiz.